Darling. I know you're here, sweetheart. I can feel you. Please come out. I'm not angry at you. I know they've been twisting you up while I've been away. Trying to teach you that time with me wasn't healthy. That we didn't really love each other. Baby. Baby doll. <laughs> it's only been three years. Since they made you stop visiting me in prison. I know they did, baby. I know. <laughs> I promise. I'm not angry with you. I broke out a present just to come see you on your big opening night, baby. Look. I even went home and got the tux you love seeing me in. I'm sorry it took me so long to break out. I wanted to wait for the right time, but when the guards mentioned your show was tonight... Well... You looked so damn beautiful giving your speech. I really miss listening to you talk about your work. Every single guard that I heard mocking me for not being able to touch you. Well, I think tearing their tongues out was already overkill. But then making a painting with them did little to help, no doubt. But, ah, uh, that is what you fell in love with. Hmm. Do you remember when we first met? Officially met. I had been doing my performance pieces for some time now. The barista that was rude to you. The taxi driver that tried to rip you off. Oh, but your old landlord. She fleeced you for all your worth. So I made her into a weather mobile of sorts. You'd always looked so ill, seeing my art. But this time, you were intrigued. I was watching from the shadows, like always, and I saw that spark ignite in your eyes, watching her body swing about. I knew it so well that I swear my body pulled me forward before I could even realize it. Until my front was flush with your back. You shivered when I put one hand on your hip, remember? You outright shook when I whispered in your ear to ask, Do you like it? You turned your head to look at me, just a little. <laughs> and you whispered, Are you the Nevermore killer? The man that makes art of his victims? And I was so proud, like God themselves was asking for my autograph. That's why you started calling me Raven. Remember, baby? You gave me my first name. The police must have been quite convincing to make you so afraid of me. Sweetie, when was I ever mean to you? Did I ever yell or raise my voice? Did I ever threaten you? Well... I guess I did say that I'd kill everything human on this planet if you were taken from me. That is true. And you are human. Hmm. Well, my sincerest apologies for the semantics. But I think I've earned some leeway over the years. Hmm? Come on, Angel. I promise I'm not mad that that other man was floating with you. I'll clean all of this up. Don't you worry. But I really just want to feel you right now. So please, don't make me wait any longer. You are my muse, after all. Very well. I can wait, my sweet. After all, I do still have most of this other man's body. I was thinking of calling this piece Wrong Place. Wrong time. I was thinking of taking some metal scraps and making him look like he got impaled by an abstract clock while reaching for a glass of ice water. What do you think, my inspiration? A splash of guts around the base to highlight the sheer senseness of it all. Gods, 
And there they are, my magnum opus. Come, 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 come here. Oh, <laughs> oh, my moose. Words fail to express how exquisite your skin feels against mine. Ah, you've changed your hair a bit. I love it. Let me just get it out of the way of your beautiful face. Ah, and there you are. I miss killing while thinking of you, baby. I've missed you so wholly these last few years. <laughs> just kissing you again makes me so happy. Mm, the authorities will no doubt be here soon. This is a high count even for me, but I think they'll appreciate my take on the Sistine Chapel, don't you, darling? <laughs> don't you worry, I've secured us a little place in Switzerland, beautiful views and very quiet, I can make my creations, you'll have an entire study for your work, it'll be just like how it was before I was arrested, baby. We can go back to living our lives happily entangled with one another. You want that still, don't you? To wake up to a new gift each morning? To open our bedroom door to a new expression of my passion? Another opportunity for me to whisper, I made this for you. I know they told you that I was a psychopath, a malicious murder serial killer. But you know I love you, darling. You have since the moment we met. And just taking your palm and resting it to my chest like this, just over my heart. <laughs> you still melt, even now. Hmm, I think that's our cue, my love. Come, I can't wait to get our new home and pick up right where we left off. I really missed you, baby doll, and I have a whole lot of new techniques to show you once we're home. Then again, a lot of volunteers just showed up. What do you think, my perfection? Shall I demonstrate my dedication to you, here and now? <laughs> As my masterpiece commands. <laughs> 